Hi, my name is Dames and welcome to Fallout 4 Frost. Now we have one mission and one mission only today and that is to finally get to downtown. As going outside last time didn't go so well. And if you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But of course, in the last one, we spoke to a friendly NPC of some sort. He did advise us to go downtown. And for what I can get from your guys' comments, that is actually a part of the Frost story. So that is going to be the main objective today. Now, of course, in the last episode as well, we did actually finally manage to craft something useful. And that is a backpack, which allows us now to carry up to... I do believe 67 carry weight, which is not a lot in the base game, but in Frost on survival mode, that is absolutely huge. A couple of other things we definitely need to attend to straight away then as well is maybe sorting out this radiation damage and also finally getting some food. Now, just to get a bit of a refresher, I think we should potentially go back to that NPC and see if he has anything else to say. Now, of course, the beautiful thing about the subway line now is we have pretty much cleared it inside and out. And of course, we did manage to drag this dead body all the way from back down there with a door we can't get in at the moment. But he has full armor, which potentially we should wear. Now, if we head back up these stairs, it was this door that we had to unlock that allows us to go meet some more friendly NPCs. Because a lot of them so far have kind of just shot on sight. And I do believe they were up to the left over here. And here he is. Dump ass, get the mask off your face. This is a restricted area. Okay, not a problem. Of course, we did go outside, so let's take our gas mask off, see if he actually wants to speak to us now. <clears throat> you, what are you doing here? This is a restricted area. Oh, we actually have some more dialogue options now. So missing disguise. So I do believe we actually had an option to say we were part of the Federation last time out. But we unfortunately did take that armor off outside. So that is a bit frustrating. But actually, I think I have something already. Actually, I think I have something already. Good. What did you find? Um. Okay, so we actually have picked up a few mission items of some dead bodies. So give item mission explosive retrieval. Sounds like an important mission. Good, we already expected strategy from the likes of them, but we need more. And also give item Winhelm's journal. He died fighting for the Commonwealth. He's a hero in anyone's book. Yes, he was good. Is this enough to convince you? Is this enough to convince you? We are getting less and less. This is not good. Take this key to enter downtown and his mushroom for your efforts. Oh, nice. Glowing mushroom. Not as excited about that, but he has now given us access to downtown. Where it is, I have no idea. Um, We can actually ask that. I can help. Where is it? I can help. Where is it? Turn back and follow down the stairs. Enter the first railroad on the right till the end of the tunnel. Oh, okay, so where we got that armor from. Good, you go. Letting me join is a risk, but in time you'll be glad you did. Letting me join is a risk, but in time you'll be glad you did. I'm sure you'll be of good use. Dismissed. Okay, Federation officer. Well, I'm not going to lie. That has actually escalated a lot quicker than I thought. Looks like we're going to downtown straight away. The first railroad go down to the right. Like I mentioned, we actually discovered this in the last episode. In terms of armor, I think maybe we should take this guy's stuff. It weighs so much though, that is the problem. Let's see how much of it we can actually take. Yeah, we are already carrying too much. Looks like potentially we may have to leave this deer hide outfit behind but wearing this dirty army fatigue is actually given as an extra point in strength which means more carry weight you love to see it so we look a little bit more kitted out now and i feel like if we come into any more combat we might actually survive now unfortunately the weight on these metal right and left legs yeah probably not going to be able to take it but we can always come back from it when we have somewhere to store our stuff again 
But the guy did tell us to go in this direction. We do have this door saying this way. Now, I assumed this would be a trap. I'm still not fully 100% sure it isn't, but we will see. Okay, upper blue line gate key. Let's unlock and we can go through. Okay, I'm going to get my torch out. Maybe I don't need to. It looks like there's lights. And we're also absolutely starving. You know what? I was kind of holding off on this. But we do have some cooked pork and beans. It is going to give us a little bit of radiation. But it's going to increase our sanity. And make us not as hungry. So we'll have to do for now. But this looks like an actual town. Underground. Some would say downtown. Okay. Are these guys friendly hello sir <clears throat> hey there i know what you are and i'm telling you we have nothing to hide um have any, have any problems it's better than nothing i guess probably no time for anything else i've got a bad feeling those uglies are on their way nothing else for now a okay, some form of like election post here foodstuffs I need food stuff, so I'm starving. We also have a residence home here. There's no one in here that is going to kill us. Actually sleep in this bed. And this is actually going to let us rest fully as well. Keep that in mind. We have a nice stinky bathroom in here. Actually imagine how gross this would be in real life, by the way. But is there anything useful doesn't look like it, but there is some loot here if we need to get some more supplies. All right, let's go back out onto the subway line then. That house is pretty useless. Subway line, unlock upper blue line gate key once again. Oh! Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to wait for this turret to do the damage here because I don't want to get involved with any of these ghouls. Now, have we actually gone out the wrong way here? Well, we are dead, so yes, definitely. Now, it has respawned us here, and I'm getting the hell inside because what the hell? Right. Um, I don't know if this is maybe an exit then okay interesting now there's got to be another way somewhere right don't know you scabber well probably should have checked this door first here's downtown okay join or die the chronicle the chronicle of the history of downtown and the metro federation okay a bit of law here so from what i can understand there's two factions the alliance and the federation so 2077, November, the first communities of the Metro formed as the fallout and the dropping temperatures forced survivors underground. December, scouts from Valenti Station explore the tunnels further, establish contact with survivors at Scully Station, Mountain Center, and the Post Office Station. A year later, February, scouts from Valenti Station discover a hidden shipment of gas masks and protective equipment. Specialized scouts, now known as scavers, Use these masks to scour the surfaces for food, medicine, and other supplies. Valenti Station rises in power. September. Scolle Station, Revere Beach, Patriot's Place, and College Square all pledge allegiance to the Valenti Station, now known as Downtown, forming the Metro Federation. William Mockland leads the station as the head captain. October. Post Office Station, now known in the Federation as Postal, MCM, and Andrew Station, form a triple alliance against the Federation. December, the first Federation Alliance war breaks out along the downtown postal lines. Okay, so an actual bit of infighting by the looks of it. March, fighting at the Red Front stalemates. Brief skirmishes still occur along the Orange Line. April, Postalian spies infiltrate Scully Station and kidnap the station's mayor, Captain Marchland. Pays ransom and forms a truce between Metro Federation and the Triple Alliance. November, usually large cockroaches first identified. The new creatures are deemed rad roaches. Oh, hell yeah. They are huge and absolutely terrifying. 
June, strange fungi found growing in downtown and Scalay Station proven edible. Tasty. Scalay Station becomes primary mushroom farm for the Federation. So we've actually been to quite a few of these places already, actually. In July, then, mutated rats found in the deep tunnels. Unique, aggressive variety of mole rats live alongside common grey rats. Scavers report mutated deer and hounds on the surface. September. Maladween cut off from downtown due to cave-in. Rescue party sent above ground only finds cannibal invaders. No survivors found. In May of the year later, then, Revere Beach suffers a severe minor raids involving surface dwellers. Surface dwellers where early rags were heavily disfigured. In August, Revere Beach falls to raiders attack. Blue Line is heavily damaged in fighting. College Square reports raids have heavily disfigured to surface dwellers. Mayor claims the raiders are subhuman. Postal reports similar attacks accusing downtown and violating the truce agreement. So this is a really good indication of the timeline. Since the bombs dropped, people went into these access tunnels underlying, kind of formed their own groups and tried to do agreements and trade. Also infighting and then raiders taking up refuge and destroying different parts of the alliance. In 2082 then, Upper Blue Line was taken, airport station heroically abandoned. The weatherman reports rising temperatures and lowering radiation. Rumors of safety on the surface leads to a dramatic rise in recruitment for scaver gangs. And in April, Second Federation Alliance War begins. Primary fighting focusing on, on the downtown postal lines. College Square was decimated by a surface dweller attacks. Major population drops in outlying stations reported as many relocated to the surface. Downtown remains as the last station of the Great Metro Federation. I was going to say, because we definitely have been to some of these places... There definitely wasn't any friendly Federation officers there. So it actually looks like this place is pretty much their last stand and all the remaining kind of Federation officers. But scouts find suspect source of College Square attackers at Fort Independence near Andrew Station. Okay, so that's where we are now. Great bit of lore there in that book. Really kind of paints the picture. But anyway... Um... Hello? Excuse me. Hey there. How are you doing? How are you doing? Fine. Nothing else for now. Clearly don't want to talk, but oh my god, this place is awesome. We got a place to buy drugs. Yes. Hey. Need something? Have you heard anything about insurance? You better back off or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Uh insurance? Insurance? If you need insurance. The doctor and our general are down in the center. Sure, I'll take a bit of health insurance in the post-apocalyptic world. Okay, we actually have a doctor here. We definitely could do with some radiation healing, so we can't actually get in there. It requires keys, so maybe we need to interact with people first. We have a gunshot. Hey, yeah, you. What's your business here? Um. Okay, so we actually have potentially a charisma speech check here. So screw it, let's try it. I'm one of the new recruits. No surprise there. I'm one of the new recruits from the Commonwealth. Oh, yes. I was told to expect some fresh meat. First things first, we need you to complete a short exam. Nothing too challenging. An exam? Really? We need to ensure all our soldiers are fit for duty. Nobody can get in without an okay from the dock. Sure, I wanted to go to the dock anyway. All right, I'm going. Take this key down now we've got the key room. that answers that Get question moving. nice okay let's go to the doctors then he's gonna be like oh yeah you're really really full of radiation right now hopefully he can sort that out sit. uh let's sit down hey there don't worry no. i've been informed that you are here to take a test how are you feeling? Are you ready? Yeah, sure, let's go. I'm ready. Then let's get started. What is that squelching noise in the background? Wait, what? Bad dog, I'll buy another dog. I don't need a dog. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Huh? Okay, I think we've got some missing dialogue here. Um, I've got bigger problems to worry about than this. Do I look like an idiot? Sounds like an asshole to me. I'll teach the guy a lesson. Make sure he never does it again. I, teach sure. the guy a lesson. I don't even know sure what this is in reference again. to. 
Um, sometimes I think you're crazy. I will not be recommending this place to my friends. I think you look pretty good. Uh, it needs improvement. It's a bit bland for hardly any result. I have no idea what we're even responding to, guys. Oh, God. Why did he just pull a gun out? Uh, I think uh, I think you look pretty good. I think you look pretty good. What is going on? My guy looks so awkward. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Hopefully, we're answering these questions right, but um, we'll see. We have no desire to intervene with unimportant details. I don't know an awful lot of unknowns. I don't have time for this. Shoot first, ask questions you later. I don't know. Was that a good facial expression or bad? Now, I don't know why this isn't working, guys. Potentially, I've installed something wrong on the mod list. If we get through this, it doesn't matter. And if any of you actually have done this and played Frost yourself, get in the comments down below. Let me know what the hell is going on here and what I'm missing. Uh, let's just say take the good with the bad, I guess. Take the good with the bad, I guess. Seem to agree with that, so... Good. You've unlocked the Federation Doctor services. Okay, well, must have gone well. Um, go on, go Dot. On, just nodding. We must have done something right, I guess. This is extremely awkward. Complete, I'll let you know when I'm ready. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Whatever that may be. Hopefully we get some text telling us what our mission is next because like I say, who knows? Insurance card is added. Now I'm sorry if any of you have been screaming out in the comments. I've only just kind of really thought about it, but let's add dialogue subtitles on. Maybe that is what we were missing. Also, if you wondered what that squelching was, it is this absolutely disgusting little thing in here. That thing is gross. <gasps> A cat! Nice location. What? Nice location. Oh, he's on his belly. Nice location. I really wish you could get a cat in Fallout, even though I am pretty much more of a dog person in real life. Right, okay, well, we do have an insurance card now. I'm assuming we're going to have to go talk to that guy at the front again. See what he has to say. I heard you completed the test. You are hereby a conscript of the Great Metro Federation. Congratulations. Now you're fucked. I still have this pack that needs signing. Okay, sure, I'll sign. Sure. I'll Don't sign. know what I'm signing up Good. for, but. Here's your copy. Soldier's Yard is past the Great Wall, on the left, where you can rest and guard the entrance. Come back to me when you're ready to go on a mission. There's always work to be done. You are now office services for the Great Metro Federation. You've unlocked a new dialogue type. You've unlocked the North End Balance Station beds. Nice. Now, I wonder if we can actually speak to this uh, downtown doctor now sure. and get medication. So let me know if you have anything. Uh, I have it. Here you go. Yeah, I have one. Well, now, some good news. You're me. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. <laughs> oh God, what was that laugh? What were your symptoms for me, one at a time? And you, I don't know if I've got that much money. Too much radiation. I feel sick. You're definitely sick, but you don't have enough money. Oh. Never mind. We're done. On your way. Then. Let's. <clears throat> hey there. Beat her again. Ready? Maybe we can buy some right away. Um, barter. I need some supplies, Doctor. Sure, sure. Right, so she has bandages, blood pack, blood water. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. So we only have 222 cap slash dollars right now. Oh, she doesn't have any right away. But we know we can get our rad secured once we finally get enough money. So we have a tool shop here. Handy hardware. Okay, let's see what this gentleman has to say. Big Aussie. Hey there. If you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. All right, sweet. Barter. I'll take a look. Sure. Let me know what you'd like. This guy's selling ammunition. Let's go. We might actually finally have a working gun. Now, we do need to actually go back to the chemistry station and take everything with us. We have a shotgun there, for God's sake. Now, we still have this pipe submachine gun as well that has 38 bullets. Now, he is selling 38 bullets, but at 34 caps per bullet. That is insane. Realistically, we can have like six bullets. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe we can craft some. Let's see what else he has to sell. He has a damaged hazmat suit. I feel like that would be huge when we go up into the surface again. 
I was looking for maybe him to sell some lead because if we finally get some lead, then we can actually just make our own bullets. But okay, let's head back out to downtown and see what the other shops are selling. We have this bar here, Champa's Bar. So did you find anything out? Listen, I questioned every soldier if I didn't find anything. You're not going to find anything. If anyone can survive that, it's Betty Winter. I thought I recognized that voice. If you insist on going through with this, go find some real evidence. You sure you're remembering that right? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. You've wasted enough of my time. Ooh, a bit of a story then. A bounty hunter. Nick Valentine. As a young, young man. Well, I say young man. He is a synth. Spoiler alert if you've never played the game. But with a full face. Hey. I'm new to the area. I'm new to the area. The beer tastes like warm spit. Hard pressed to find a friendlier place for a drink. Let's see about this. Wanted dead or alive, Eddie Winter. 1,500 crash. I mean, bloody hell, if we manage to get that, we can definitely cure our radiation and even buy some guns. We'll take it. You seeing what I'm seeing over here? How did the package go missing? How did this package go missing? This one straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man that did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath a sub shop he uses a headquarters. There's more to this, isn't there? There's more to this, isn't there? The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, but lived forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Sure done your homework, Mr. Nick Valentine. Jeez, you've really done your homework on this guy. Covered a doozy. Almost like he's Eddie a detective. Went and turned himself into a kind of monster. Well. Oh God! And I'm convinced that he's still inside that shelter, safe and sound, ready to rain all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happened. You in? All right, Nick. Just tell me where to go. I could do with the money. Really could do with the money. All right, Nick. Just tell me where to go. You're a good man. Now. Exactly where Winter's bald is. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knows no bounds. Wonder how long that jackass has been out there. Careful. Andrew Station's known for having its fill of gun toting scumbags. Haha, <laughs> I see you've calculated all the variables just like a machine. Almost like he is. But you really think this will work, Nick? You really think this will work, Nick? Works for me. Maybe it'll give you some time to figure some things out. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait Why to get there. Get up there. Easy, funny. Yeah, you're right. Finally time for Eddie Winter to get his due. Nice. So we have our first little quest, I guess. Yeah. And it's absolutely awesome to incorporate one of the main protagonists from the game itself. The main game, Mr. Nick Valentine. Very much a long time before you meet him in the base game. Almost basically like 200 years at this point. So as you can see... Fully, fully skinned. But hey, Champa, how's it going? Hey there. Can I get you a drink? Sure. Let's see what she's Let's selling. Let's see what you've got. Great. Now, it looks like a lot of food and also kind of drinking stuff, but we do have quite a lot of this stuff already, so it will be okay for the time being. And we have a guy here called The Buyer. Hi. I'm sure I have something in me. I've got a few minutes Another trader by the looks of it. What's this guy selling? Oh, this guy looks to be selling more kind of junk stuff. Now, please, please sell some lead somewhere. He is a... God damn it. He is selling a water filter, though, which is going for an absolute ton of money. Do we have anything we could sell that we don't need? Now, none of our things are actually worth a lot. I think we're going to keep the deer hide outfit for the time being. In terms of aid, I don't think I'm going to be really using jet that much, even though it does help, but we could sell it for a few extra coins. 
We're definitely going to want to keep the XLs around and use them, to be fair. Junk, we have a can. Which we could sell, but we've got... We need to go back to the chemistry station and take all of our stuff back. We also have 45 to 70 caliber ammo. I'm very tempted to sell it as... Yeah, we actually haven't got a gun that uses it, but hilariously, we probably will sell it, find a gun in the next five seconds, and then be super frustrated, so we'll keep it for now. For sure, we'll take the extra 36 caps, why not? It actually looks like there's a, a way round here as well. well. There's a few things we potentially could steal. And definitely in my next upgrade, we are going to be getting sneaking perks. The bed we can sleep in, which is nice. And pastor's vestments. If we wanted to dress up as a pastor for some reason. Oh, we also have Champa's journal here. You've got plenty of sketchy characters here, but there's one that needs making some more domestic customers anxious. Calls himself the buyer. The guy we just spoke to. Man's got cash out of his ass. So as long as he keeps paying with Golden, for most part, he just hangs around and buys scrap off local scavers. Beats me what he wants with all that junk, though. Interesting. So he's got a little bit of a backstory. But we'll keep an eye out on that guy. He does look very shady. And so does that woman bouncing around. What are you doing? And she's gone! Well, hope she's okay. Okay, cool. So we actually have a little bit of a quest, potentially, to get a lot, a lot of cash. Now, let's see what else is in this place. This place is awesome so far. We've got some Federation soldiers, which essentially we are now... We just fell through the floor. Um, subway line. Maybe this was another way in potentially. Uh, how the hell do we get back up there? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, not a problem. Right, always keep an eye on the floor because there's clearly holes there. We got a armor workbench here. Nice, and a way to Valentee Station. Which, hold on a second. It's not exactly where I thought it was going to be, but this is a nice shortcut all the way back to our chemistry station. But it sounds absolutely hectic out there, so maybe we should save that for another time. Now, we do have the access tunnels that require keys. Okay, so we can't go up that way yet. What is up here? That is another door to the subway line. Let's see where that takes us out. I have a feeling I know where this is. This was this mountain of rubble that we couldn't actually get up from. And now we... I don't think we can get back up. No, we're actually stuck. Okay, well, it looks like we're going down here. But yeah, we came here before. And unfortunately, we couldn't actually get up there, which makes sense. So if I'm not mistaken, those friendly NPCs that have actually given us the information to get to downtown in the first place should be here. Let's see if they have different interactions with us now. Now we've actually joined them. Hi. Attention. I must remind you that this still remains a restricted area. Okay, well, they treat us like a soldier now, which is cool. Right, we didn't want to necessarily come here, but we needed to anyway. So, go back to the subway line, go back to the chemistry station, and take all the things we need with us. Weirdly, home sweet home, I guess. Now, what do we have in here? A lot of things. Now, we've had to organize a few things. I've put most of my junk in the chemistry station for the time being. But we do actually have our short, heavily damaged combat shotgun, which I can't wait to use. And I might actually buy some bullets for it. Now I'm back in downtown. It doesn't actually look like we have a dedicated sleeping area, but I feel like this little room here is too convenient to not be. So we have our very own bed that we can sleep in. And I think I'm going to slowly but surely start storing stuff in this wooden crate so we don't have to run back to that chemistry station all the time. But yeah, going to probably take a few trips. But once this is filled up with all of our junk and weapons, we can continue. So after quite a few trips, not going to lie, we're slowly but surely dumping all of our things into here. I'll keep some wood on us in case we need to do some cooking. But yeah, I actually had to move it up to this footlocker upstairs as if you put things in this box for some reason and try and take them out, it's classed as stealing. But we should also probably check in with our man at the front gate here. He did say if we speak to him, we have a mission for us. So let's see what he has to say. <clears throat> Good to see you, conscript. Now speak. 
Uh, mission, what were your orders, Captain? What are your orders, Captain? Your first mission is as follows. We received a call for food supply at the library in Copley Station. Okay. I need you to get over to the Boston Public Library and assess the situation before we can risk sending an armed expedition with a resupply. Report back to me when you are done. There is no need to make a direct attack yourself and risk your life against whatever may be in there. Get up to the surface from the north end exit past the wall. Make sure you have your gas mask. The air up there is poison. Oh, we know. Any questions? Anything more you can tell me about the library? Anything more you can tell me about the library? We are not sure of what is the real situation in there, or if it's a trap. Where is this place? How do I get there? Where is this place? How do I get there? Here. Take this map. Use it to navigate the surface. And I'll take a map. Nice. Stations map added. Okay, Captain. I'm ready. I'm ready, Captain. Dismissed. Good luck out there. Sweet. We actually have directions. Let's inspect the stations map then. Okay, what are we looking at here? So we have all the different information about the different stations. Of course, we've got Valenti Station, which is literally the door next to us. So maybe we should actually check that out first and foremost. We've got Boston Airport, Copley Station, Re Revere Station, Andrew Station, Kenmore Station, Scully Station, and of course, College Square. We do also have this mission, of course, to try and find Eddie Winter by Nick Valentine. So we're definitely going to have to try and figure that one out as well. Now, I think before we head out, let's go back into the gun store and see what we can actually get. Also, has my character randomly developed a tan? Or is that just because he's full of radiation and he's slowly turning into a ghoul? In terms of 12 gauge shells, we have two for 100 caps each. Yeah, that's a bit nuts. We do have that pipe submachine gun. I'd rather have a gun than not have a gun right now. So even though this is absolutely extortionate for how much it is, I'm going to buy six whole bullets. That's right, guys. Six bullets. Am I really going to do it? Screw it. I'd rather have a gun than not. At the end of the day, if we shoot one person with one bullet in the head, they are dead. So that could be massive for us. Now, I did just go onto my aid tab and realize we have this glowing mushroom that increases auto radiation heal rate. I'm going to take that. Does that mean we're actually going to be losing rads? Holy crap. Now, anyway, I think... We've discovered downtown enough. Absolutely buzzing to finally be here. Finally have a safe place of operations. Got a bit more story and more quests. Let's go kill some people. Now, this door does go to Valenti Station. Obviously, we opened this door not too long ago, and there was a lot of gunshots. So, fingers crossed, we don't die. Oh. Hello? Excuse me. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. We could really use your help. Sure, what's the problem? What's the problem? I think something's out there. What type of help? We could sure use some help defending this place. I wish there was something we could do about these damn raiders. They just won't leave us alone. Please, you gotta help. I don't know what else to do. Oh, no, I'll don't help worry. you. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Good to know there's still people out there willing to help others. Let's do this. All right, I guess we're just doing this then you know what screw it let's get our gun out and we loot these rooms quickly oh we have the station service key nice we actually needed that where have those guys gone okay they're here we loot here potentially as well oh god making a mistake well i didn't do anything those bastards mm -hmm. we showed them didn't we yeah we did. we did it i did so much we made it oh my guy sounds so out okay. of breath this site's in good hands we'd better move out good luck nice so we managed to clear this place out and there's gone okay okay i need to not get ahead of myself here first and foremost hilariously we didn't have to do anything there but there's so much loot here or maybe not. Ammo boxes. There's a weapon workbench. Nice. We can actually improve guns now. Okay. So after heroically dealing with these raiders. Or not so. Let's see what they have on them. 
I'll take the the funds by millimeter rounds. Nice. Now these have really cool armor as well. Submachine gun. We actually have another gun with ammo, guys. No way. But unfortunately, that that does make us really encumbered right now. But it's fine. What I'll actually do for the time being. Let's store that back on this gentleman. See if we can take anything else from around here. Ooh, another $5. Nice. We have another Federation soldier here. Unfortunately, that has passed. But I'll take all the ammunition he has. Sultron Blade. Oh, yeah. We also have Federation Officer Fatigues. And handmade automatic rifle. Why did we just spend that money on ammo? We've got so many options now. And a heavily damaged combat rifle. Right, I'm going to take the fatigues. And probably can't pick these guns up for the time being. If we use the Federation Officer fatigues, we don't have as much carry weight. But in terms of actual damage resistance and radiation resistance, yeah, it's so much better. But we'll wear the army fatigues for now, just so we can loot a bit more. Now, what is Day Tripper? Let's go into aid. Day Tripper is a crazy drug that gives us a lot of luck and charisma. And it's worth quite a lot. So maybe we could go back and sell this stuff. Also, what the hell happened to this guy? How are his legs stuck in the floor? We also actually have another Federation soldier right next to him with more ammunition. We have a grey knit cat. Right. Plan of action then. Take all these guns. What I'm actually going to do, just to be safe really... Pick up the guns, and I'm going to transfer them into this cash register. Because, unfortunately, as this game is quite glitchy sometimes, things can despawn. Now, is there anything we can loot as well? We have another dead alliance person here. 12 GA shell. We actually have a bullet for our shotgun. Nice. And a double barrel shotgun as well. We have so many options right now. This is crazy. We're not going to wear the alliance tunnel armor, as we probably will get shot by our own people. So, not the best idea. I'm going to pick up the shotgun. We can't actually run right now. Hopefully, we can put it into the cast register. Well, this one has another $8. Take the submachine gun off this guy as well. Put it in the cast register. God, if I die and someone finds this cast register, they're absolutely laughing. Now, if we go here, this opens up to the north end. We can have a quick look and see what's here. Oh, we're getting so many rads. We need to go back out. I forgot to put my mask on, but I also saw feral ghouls out there. So at least we know now it is another way in and out of the station. Cool. Also, if you are wondering why I have a right arm again after last episode, it has slowly just healed itself over time. And it is back up to 75% now out of 100. So yeah, at least combat is definitely going to be a lot more easier. Now, after slowly but surely transferring a bit of armor and basically all the weapons we've just found... We have quite a lot to choose from. First and foremost, I really want to try out this Assaultron Blade. This may be the main melee weapon for the time being. But in terms of a firearm then, what are we going to take with us? Now, we've actually got quite a bit of ammo for a few different things. Now, of course, we bought that 38 ammo, which I slightly regret now, but it is what it is. 245 rounds, 212 shells for our shotgun, a lot of 5mm ammo for the submachine gun, and a little bit of 762 as well. Now, I feel like as this is the thing we have the most ammo with, this potentially is the gun we take out. It's obviously not as strong, but again, I feel like one place bullet to someone's head and we should be fine. Now, we have our Assaultron Blade. Our submachine gun with actual bullets and ammo. I can't get over it, but I feel like we should head outside. Okay, here we are then. Now, we need to scout out this library for our commander. Where it is, God knows. But we'll have to try and find it. But there are some feral ghouls right in front of us. I was about to say, let's maybe sneak down this right-hand side, but... I think we've been spotted by a ghoul already. Okay, this one is coming for us. I'm going to shoot it. Well, I said I was going to shoot it, but it is a feral ghoul with a school next to its name. Yeah, I'm not getting involved with that. Oh, no. 
We've been spotted. Oh my god. Okay. This is not good. This is really not good. They're just eating bullets. Oh my god. Well, yeah. Don't fight on feral ghouls. Noted. Right, guys. So we're not going that way, obviously. We actually have a dead feral ghoul here. Who has some things on him. But most importantly, some more cash dollars. What is down here? They are people. Are they friendly? I mean, there's hanging bodies from this thing here. So I'm guessing not. Don't think these people are friendly. They're not. Right, we could just be a bit more sneaky here, but I'm feeling stupidly brave. What has that guy got? Oh, it was a torch, I think. You have the high ground up here. Hey, who's there? Now, we don't have a great chance to hit. They're throwing a grenade. Are you serious? Okay. This could go really bad. Oh my god, we've lost an arm. And a grenade's being thrown. I thought I was safe in the corner. Jesus. Maybe we should check down this way over here. See if we can find anything. Been found. Well, maybe these guys are friendly. Potentially. Mass fusion building. And we've leveled up. Okay. Area's off limit. Okay, no worries. These guys look interesting. But a power armor suit. That could be huge. Please. I'm turning around. I'm turning around. But anyway, let's quickly level up. Now, I know I said I was definitely going to get sneak, but not having a lot of carry rate is really, really peeing me off. And I feel like this, this is going to be so useful. And also, we do use a lot of melee anyway, so it's not going to be a bad perk to take. Now, as you can see, we've actually got 77 carry rate right now. Going to be so much better. We are getting radiation from somewhere. Potentially, some ghouls are very close. Let's try and sneak past here. Oh, God. A feral glowing ghoul. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's coming. Okay, we need to just keep going. We need to keep running. Dead body here. Another survivor. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. I have no idea where we're going. I'm really panicking right now. Oh my god, they're following me. Oh, we're dead. We're just dead. You know what? Screw it. I can take them. We have a grenade. Oh my god. Why did it have to run at me? We just burnt ourselves alive. Now, this looks like a very fortified area as well. Now, I think I know exactly where we are. Oh, a survivor with some more 38 rounds. Nice. But I have a feeling this is going to lead us back to the access tunnels. Locks really strong. Scully Square is actually where we came out in the last episode and got absolutely destroyed. So we can't get out of there. We can't get in there right now, but we know where we are. We've actually found a survivor with another 12 GA shell as well and a blood pack. That is huge. He has a double barrel shotgun, but we do have one of those at home. Now, of course, this is super mutant territory. But I don't know if super mutants are even in this, but maybe this is the way to find out. Okay, there's some meat bags, so I'm assuming something not very friendly is in here. Another survivor with more ammo, though. Bungle purge. Hmm. And a pipe pistol. Now, that pipe pistol could be absolutely huge for us. We've already got the ammo for it because we bought some and found some for the submachine gun, but this... This has a scope on it. Now, granted, it isn't the best weapon in the world. 
But it's got a bit of range, so I'm not going to complain. There are so many dead people here. Plasma cartridge, a pipe bomb, tactical plasma rifle. God, I really want that weapon. I can't even carry this, but this thing is insane. Some more 308 rounds on this survivor. A bladed board. Very damaged pipe pistol. We're, we're okay for one of those. And some more survivors with more ammo and more weapons. Now, we've been found by something. Oh, God. It's a feral ghoul. Right. Can that guy please? Oh, my God. How bad was that shooting in the vats? Why is this thing invincible? What is happening? <coughs> it's okay, we, we need to go. This ghoul can't die. We've actually found Vault Tech HQ as well. Awesome. Uh, I think we're still being chased by a feral ghoul. But I cannot see anything right now. This is absolutely terrifying. Just wandering the wasteland in the pitch dark. Slowly but surely getting radiation as well. We really, really need to get cover. Actually found Swan's Pond, which is definitely somewhere we don't want to be right now. Now, we should be near one of the entrances. Now, I'm hoping we can get there without getting absolutely destroyed by something. And here we go, the Park Street Station. Let's get inside. Phew, okay, well, we're alive, just about, and we have so much more ammo now. Now, of course, this actually leads us back to this area here, where we killed the guy in the vault suit, I do believe. There he is, naked. But as you can see, this mod is absolutely brutal when going outside, and especially when you have no idea where you're going. But I think this is where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all the content. Also, get in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this series and all the tips and tricks are so appreciated. And a massive thanks to all of you new subscribers and all the people that have been interacting with the Frost series so far. I'm having an absolute blast playing this mod. But once again, I appreciate you and I will catch you in the next one.